Well, hello. You might notice that I am super up close to you and probably annoying, but today I have some very cool and exciting things to show you. So I do have my Cricut back here and I'm actually working on a set of cookies that requires a stencil or I have designed it in the way where I will use a stencil and I want to show you just how I made this stencil simply taking an image from the company's logo and then cutting it into a stencil using my Cricut. So let's get started. Here are a few of the tools that we will be using to apply and remove our stencil from our Cricut mat once we have cut it. We will also be needing a stencil sheet for electronic cutters pack from Icing Images. And this pack does come with the, the material that we will be using for our stencil. And it also comes with instructions on how to set up your setting for cutting stencils. We will also be needing a Cricut mat. For this instance, I will be using the light grip mat. You can also use the green or purple mat. This is the one that I have on hand, so it is the one that I will be using today. And of course, we will also be needing a Cricut machine for this project. And also, last but not least, you will definitely need access to Cricut Design Space. You can do that by accessing the design space on Cricut.com and you will log in where it says design.
here is an actual look at how my mat is set up with my stencil material i'm going to go ahead and insert it into my cricut and i'm going to follow the prompts on the screen which is the arrow to insert the cricut to start and also make sure that your material setting on the cricut wheel is set to custom When your stencil comes out is when you'll take your weeding tool and start to gently remove your square and kind of just unmold the side so that you don't rip anything. And at this point, I'm just going to take my time and slowly remove any of the letters and anything that is still stuck onto my stencil. At this point, I also want to point out the part about adding the bridges to certain letters or certain images. As you can see here, if we wouldn't have bridged the O, what our Cricut would have done is it would have just cut a circle. So we wouldn't have had anything in the middle. Everything would have just fallen out. So that's a reason why bridges are important. I didn't know this when I first started making stencils. So at first I would be like, yes, I made a stencil. But then when it came time to weeding out the little parts, I would just be left with the silhouette of the letter or the silhouette of an image without having the actual parts that detail that specific letter or that specific image. So that's very important. Here's a quick look at how my stencil turned out and how I used it. If In case you missed this, I actually posted it on my Instagram story, so make sure that you're following me there. I really do hope that this was a little bit helpful. I know that I haven't made like so many stencils, so I'm definitely not a pro, but I did want to share the few things that I know with you so that you can experiment for yourself. Don't forget to leave me questions in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, add a comment, and share this video with your friends if you liked it. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye!